They're still headed for the planet. Guess we blew it. There's no friction in space boots. Even deactivated, the missiles would maintain their original trajectory. So what does that mean? Uh, are the missiles still active? Killing the Queen should have deactivated all hive weapons and subsystems, including the missiles. You don't sound terribly confident. I'm confident enough to have come back here when I could have made off with your fighter instead. Impact intent. Question the choice of hors d'oeuvres, Councilman. Do the critter fritters truly represent the constituency? Blast the hors d'oeuvres! Surely we owe these people more than a cocktail party. They saved our planet. You're right. Perhaps a parade is in order. Shall we vote on it? Let's get out of here. I'll warm up the shuttle. How can you just walk away from this? Someone split that planet in half intentionally. How can you feel safe knowing someone has that kind of power? I'll manage. Kid, you're a coward and a quitter. So Ms. Tech went active behind our backs. Big deal. Until someone figures out how to use it properly, we're still in the running to make a fortune. Do you mind? We're having a conversation here. Mister, I'm not asking you to go all the way with this. I just need two pieces of equipment. We can even get them here on Cinder Station. Believe me, I wouldn't ask for your help unless there was no one else to turn to. Or you could come with me to the planet of Miztech. I'm close to deciphering a modular element system. I suspect the answer may be sitting in a library on Hephaestus. Or you could repent, you cold-blooded killer. Maybe it's time for that new profession, kiddo. Maybe it's time you all let me drink in peace. Please tell me this is a joke. Surprise! We've come to compensate you for all your generous help. Shoot me. I told you they would be surprised.
Sarah. Uh, hey, Buccelli. Uh, Sarah. Okay, so we've got the field transduction module. Now all we need is the tachyon decay detector to plug it into. The Cinder Theoretical Science Museum has been closed for renovation. Will it be hard to break into? Breaking in ain't the problem. Avoiding the heavy security system is. This won't be painless. It never is. What's the game plan? Can we get blueprints? That'll take a few hours. Security schematics? That'll take longer. Oh, perhaps our planetary sensors can be of value. We have a variety of technological wonders at our disposal. No! no. was right. I'm just a cheap damn store robot. I deserve to get ticked around. Hey, pal. Looking for this? Miss Sarah, what are you doing here? I wasn't about to let my favorite little bot go into hostile territory without some cover. Looks like you did just fine without me. Oh boy, oh boy. When to Mr. Boots sees you, he's gonna flip a pancake. Looks here like there's heavy duct construction for the set conference over the museum. Maybe we can slink in through the back door. Peeling back and look where I got. I was busting it out while you guys are busy dabbing. Looks like these gas mains run perpendicular to the construction struts. They could be dangerous if we're not careful. Believe me, honey. I've never been afraid of a little gas. Hey! What the hell? I'm a talking back here. Hiya, Boots. Excuse me. Hey. Her name's Serenata Iniwa. She's the reason I'm dead. You look great. You don't. Our golden boy looks a little tarnished. You should have seen me on Monday. I was his secretary. She was a detective in training. She tried to learn what she could from him. He was an awful teacher. Hell, an awful boss. You gonna stay in that get up all day? Thinking about it, it's me, don't you think? Not remotely. You could tell he was crazy about her. She couldn't have cared less. So what happened to Fatima? I thought you were dead. Don't change the subject. She died the night you disappeared. I'm not jealous if that's what you're thinking. Believe me, I'm not. It's just... I don't like what she does to him. Why didn't you come after me that night? I did, Sarah. I could never count on you, Bocelli. Don't call me that, Sarah. Then don't call me Sarah. I'm Stiletto now. What the hell happened to you? I found myself. He can't go through this again. Neither can I. Interesting little collection of characters you've shacked up with. Which scam you running? It's my biggest case ever. I'm, uh, trying to save the universe. Do tell. This is our universe. Fifteen billion years ago, the Big Bang erupted, giving birth to the cosmos in the blink of an eye. Hot matter was hurled in every direction, coalescing into stars and galaxies over the course of billions of years. 
As it continues to expand, the pull of gravity will slow this expansion more and more. Eventually, it will stop expanding altogether and contract, collapsing the whole ball of wax. This implosion in turn will cause another Big Bang, resulting in the birth of a new universe. Current science leads us to believe this cycle is infinite. Everyone with me? Fatima, loop our universe. Now, imagine what would happen if we added some mass to our universe. An increase in the amount of matter leads to an increase in the strength of the gravitational pull, speeding up the collapse. The more matter there is, the faster it will implode. The light show's beautiful, sister. What's your point? My point is the spatial disturbance that split Sunder in half was matter from the previous universe pouring into our own. The TDD confirms it. Hold on a minute. Someone's trying to collapse our universe. Intentionally. Oh, it's much worse than that. Not only is someone from the previous universe adding matter into our own, they're also removing matter from theirs at the same time. If they remove enough dirt from their backyard, they'll escape the gravitational pull that would otherwise cause their universe to collapse. That means our universe will never be born. We will never exist. So, who the hell's doing it? 